Well, hello, old man cavers, and what are we doing today? We are going to have a look at this little German engine, as promised. And you've seen this before in the last video. We just want to see if we can get this one to run. Like we did the little BSA. So, let's roll them credits. Cool, that's some cobwebbage. Let's roll them credits. See how this one goes. Ah. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So here we are, man cavers, with our little German engine. So we're going to do an outdoor video today. I think, well, we've got to start with where we normally start, haven't we? Blowing all the, I mean, look at the crap on this. Blowing all this crap off here. Without getting her in that, yeah, without getting her in there too much. Even in the cooling, there's just cobwebbage everywhere. Woof, dear, oh dear. So, let's get a blow gun. See if we can blow this thing down a bit. Oh, Yep, she's on. Um, oh, there we go. She's a little bit musty, isn't it? Oh. What the hell? There we go. Oh, there's even a tickler on that carburetor in there, look. A little tickler in there. So yeah, don't worry about the Martin Bonza truck, there will be ample videos on that coming soon, but at the minute I am waiting for parts, so until then we've got to do some little engines, ah, tells you on here what plug that should have look now don't i wish all engines had a sticker what tell you what the plug is bosch number w95 t1 that looked like a champion l14 l2 a large bnb14 ngk gives you no number look so if this has taken lodge plugs, that tells me it's a relatively old engine. I wouldn't say it's massively old because it's got a bit of plastic on there where there was some sort of plastic coupler. It's got a plastic nut on the bottom of the fuel. But I know this is at least 30 years old because that's how long it's been in the shed. I obviously picked this up when I was a schoolboy from auction. Don't remember where, but it would have been sometime in the 80s. So how old this engine is, I don't know. It is a, excuse my German, a Fitchet. A Fitchet Sashes. There we go. Engine number 687 <coughs> Oh, beg your pardon. So, first thing we've got to do, I think, before I start doing too much pulling over, I noticed the other day we can see the piston in there, so we're going to oil up the cylinder. So let me turn this engine till the piston is down the bottom. What's catching? I reckon I'll blew some crap in there. And let's jump a bit of oil. Whoops, a daisy on top of that piston. There we go. And we'll just give the old engine a go up. Oh, I think we've got to take the plug out. Oh, this ain't been off for a long time. There we go. Oh, it's got a Bosch plug in it. So let's pop this plug out. Is it going to undo? Steel in aluminium don't always go down the best. Nope, she's that socket is stuck on that stupid. Yeah, it's straight out there. Look. 
that socket gets stuck on that silly screw that I put in there for the tank. Well, there's our plug. Don't actually, I mean, that's rusty as hell. Is it the right number plug? You know, there's no number on it. That's just a Bosch Germany. Don't even give us a number on it. There might be one if I clean this body up in the wire wheel. But you know the motto of the channel. We'll try and go with what we've got. This is actually a well-built little thing. Look, the tin work is all cast into the head, the cooling things. So let's see if this engine will turn now. Ah, I reckon I blew a bit of crap in there. That's gone quiet now. All right, let's get a bit of oil on the side of that piston. That's in. Yeah, we'll lube that cylinder up now. Ah, so, cylinder is lubed. Let's see if it pulls over. Whoa. Pulls over, no problem. It's also blowing the oil out of that exhaust. go well that's blew a bit out of there in it there's still some crap in this you know there you go we come around all these cooling things I'm wondering if we should oil that spool string don't even look very used. I wonder if this engine hasn't had a lot of use. We're going to put a bit of oil down that recoil hole. I know it's going to muck the string up. But, oh! I just want to throw it all that spring up in there. Because it looks like one of these screw heads have rung off. And I don't want to attempt to undo these others and take this off unless I have to. So first thing we're going to do is check for a spark. If it hasn't got a spark, we're going to have to go in there. But I'm going to see, because I think this has possibly got electronic ignition. I don't know, but I think it might be mod enough to have electronic ignition. In which case, we should, or hopefully, we'll have some form of spark. Let's try this old plug in here. If not, we'll get a new one. But let's just see if we've got any form of spark. I'm going to have to get out my seat for this. And come round here. Can you guys see? I need to make sure you guys can see this spark plug. Alright, you can see this plug. Tell me if we've got a spark there. Yes. 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 With a brift, with a swift pull like that, we did have a blue spark. Well, that's good. That is very good. That has saved us having to take this flywheel off. Well, we've got a spark. This is brilliant. So we'll leave this off a minute. I think, oh, what's this throttle like? Look like there's a little throttle there. It is, but I seized up. That look like this plunger is meant to lift up. Do that lift up. Oh, we do it from this end, look. Yes, it does. And that push that. That's seized. But I reckon a little bit of oil around all these joints will sort all that. There's a little plunger here. I wonder if we've got to, well, probably have to take this carb off anyhow. Yeah, we'll have to take this carb off anyhow, I'm guessing, so. So what we'll do is. We'll give her a little bit of oil. See if we can get this carb to free up. That's not, I assume that's meant to spring back up like that there. I'm guessing that's what it's meant to do. Let's get this carb off. 
see if we can give him a clean up. There we go. Is that coming undone? Oh yeah, that's coming undone. So we've got the carb pinch ball undone. Carb is nice and loose. Oh, just pull straight off, look. I don't want to break this fuel line. Um. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to take that fuel line off there because you just know this fuel line is going to break on us. It's going to be all brittle and it's going to break. Uh, how can we do this, dear Adam? can we do this so we've got to take this tap off and take the pipe off with the carb all right and right. so let's see if this that's a plastic oh he's coming undone straight away look no okay, car come undone with my hands that one look ah, is there a little filter in there no no i think this pipe has got to come off unfortunately there's a little bowl in there. Let's blow that bowl out. I reckon that's a little fuel trap, you know, just to, any sediment and that just fall in the bottom of that little bowl. We shall see, won't we? And I've seen a sticker on here that says 50 to 1 as well, so we know that's what the mix is. It says on the red sticker on the front, 50 to 1, so we know we're two stroke. Alright, let me see if, let me put that car back on, and we'll see if we can prise this pipe off. Ah, that's come without breaking, look. Look at that, brilliant, I reckon, that's because we're outside in this heat, you know, that's heating it up. There we go, carb off. Alright, there's a nut on the bottom, there's a tickle of that side, look. Let's give him all a blow off. Then we'll get this carb stripped down. Take this plunger out. Phew, that's coming. Ah, there you go. So I'm assuming there's a little plunger in there. There we go, little plunger. That actually looks clean as a whistle. But there is a bit of crap in the bottom there. Can you see that? bit of crap in the bottom all right we are going to take the float bowl off because i'm curious as to what could be in there God, bugger. all right there we go i want to see what sort of state it is in here oh my word look at that look at that white powdery stuff ah right i think this lot need to go in the ultrasonic bath. But it looks like, well, the float is free. I don't know whether the needle's free. Let me get a pair of pin nose pliers and see if I can get this float out here. Then we'll clean all that up and put that in the ultrasonic bath. Right. Let's have a look and see if we can get this float out of here oh that's coming will it push through that way which it should do right let's move backwards and forwards a bit can we get the pin out these pin nose pliers are as much good as I don't know what they aren't gripping a lot because they're bent guys if you all send me a new pair of pin nose pliers <laughs> All right, let me see if I can fish this out. Can I grab it with a pair of tang pliers, or are these too big? Ah, these are too damn big to go in there. No, they aren't. Once that's out, I'm pretty sure we can get it back in all right. We've just got to get this little thing out. Oh, here we go. There we go. Pin out. 
float out. Now what's the needle like? Will the needle and seat be alright? Oh look at that. The needle and seat come out. Look at all that crumb. Look at that. Look, look at that. Poof. All that crap. Ah, uh, blowing that straight out. What the hell? Let's blow this bowl out. What the hell? Right. Let's have a look. See if we can clean this bowl out a bit. Let's have a look. Get a wire wheel in there. Let's get some revolutions going. Ah, oh, Christ. Where do I know? Look. There we go. Ah, let's clean that out, look. Look at that. Let's clean that bowl. Eh? There's a little bit of stuff on this side. Look. Let's see if we can get on that side. Oh, look at that. Oh, this nut don't come off. That's actually part of the bowl. Look, the bowl is actually threaded. Never seen that before. That's why the whole bowl come off. That's fair enough. Right, I think we need to get all this in the ultrasonic bath. And we can have a much better look at it. Can't we? Sure, yeah, look at all that crap in there. Yeah, I need to get rid of all this. There we go. Right, let me get the old Sonic bath set up. And we'll see. Never seen a flute like this either. Got some rum markings on the top of that float. Look, hey, sun's going in. Yay, hopefully you can see. There's some markings on the top of that float. There we are. B. What's that for Bentley? I don't know. Right, let me get the ultrasonic set up. And I think we'll probably end up in the shed. Finishing this little carb. Ah! Right guys, we are back with our little carb. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a little pointer through that jet and then put the whole lot in the ultrasonic bath here. But for the minute, we're going to just run a little point through this jet to make sure that's clear. That's going to be very small. I can see that. I think that's going to be one of these. These are all going to be way too big. Let's try this little one here. I so say there is a like screwdriver slot on the top of that, but I'm very reluctant to try and get that out of there because it's brass. I'll tell you what, let's get a little screwdriver and see if by some remote chance that will come out. That screwdriver's way too big. Let me get a smaller screwdriver and we'll just see if by any chance that will come out of this. Alright, we are back with a smaller screwdriver. This is one what fit Honda carbs. I'm not going to like the chances of this. I'm pushing. Oh, hang on. That's coming, look. Look at that. Look at that. That little jet is out, look. Can we see light through it? No, we can't. So this little jet is plugged. And the smallest bristle I've got is this one. But if we can't push anything through it, that's never going to run, is it? Now, I don't know whether this is meant to be. I assume this is meant to be a size acceptable for that. I don't think I've got a smaller one. 
the smallest one in the whole set is this one. Let's try this tiny one. Ah, ah, there you go, that little one is through. So let's go next size up. Maybe I was trying to go too big with it. I think the next size up, these are my smallest ones. So can we get it through this one? No. Can we get it through this one? No. This one? No. So these two are a little bit bigger. But we're just going to see if that is blocked up in the middle. Or whether I'm actually making the damned hole bigger. Right, so them two are too big. I don't want to force them in. So let's try these two. That one go through. There we go, that's the size. There you go. Doing the little file and motion. We're through. Right, that's cleaned that. Let's dump all of this in our ultrasonic bath. If you're wondering what potion I've got in there. Well, I'll tell you, it's, <laughs> it's washing liquid. Ah, oh, this silly ultrasonic cleaner isn't deep enough. But we'll get them all in there, guys. The little needle, the little rod, our little jet. It's all in there with our little float. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trap that float underneath the bowl. There you go, just to make sure that gets up. So let's put 480 seconds on there. We'll let that run down. I'll turn that carb over so this side get a clean. We'll be back when that's all done. Ah. Right, we are back. It's been turned. We have everything <sighs> has been cleaned. I always like to sort of just shake the things in the water a bit, just to rinse any stuff off. Now we've got to pull our basket out to retrieve our small bits, which is, there we go. What mess have we got on the basket? Not a lot. Yeah. Right. Let's wipe these all off and see if we can get this carburetor back together. So we're just going to dry all these bits. The airline is outside. So I will go and blow that carb body out right quick. And then... Yeah, I'll just take this outside and just blow all the water and crap out of this. Then we'll be back. Right, we're back. This has all been blown out. So let's now see if we can get our little needle and seat back in. There's our little needle dropping in there. Our jet. If I can get it back in centrally, that would be fantastic. There you go. She's going back in centrally. Let's nip that up a tiny bit. Now we've got to get our float back in. Can we get this little pin back in? This little pin is tapered on one end. So I'm hoping. Well, they aren't as easy as the old Briggs and Stratton carbs. They go straight back in. Ah, there we go. We're lined up there. There we go. I reckon with a little swift push. There you go. That's back through. Float is good. Is it stopping fuel? Pop. 
perfect yep that's stopping that perfectly so we'll give this a blow out let's screw our bowl back on the rubber gasket looks all right there we go our little primer nipple that was free i did check that our choke is free I reckon we can put a little bit of oil down that slide and get back outside and get this car back on. Let's get back out in some good light. Right, we're back outside in some good light. Ah, let me get seated again. Ah, there's oil run out from somewhere. Right, ah, oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't clean all this, did I? Let me get this all cleaned off. We'll be back. Right, we are back. And ah, we have just put this bit through the bath as well. Let's blow him off. Get all, expel all this water out here. There we go. What's this linkage like on the engine? Well, that's springing back up. Look, that weren't before. That's now springing back up. Let's give that a touch more oil. There we go. See how that's springing back up now? There you go. I think what that's meant to do is spring back up and pull this up with it. But this is all nice and clean now. So we're just going to oil this slider. There we go. We'll just oil this slider and get that back in. There is a witness mark in there where it goes. That's in. All right, let's screw this back up. And let's see if that moves easy. Work out a bit by hand. We can see in that slider. We'll put a little bit in there. And work it again. There we go. There we go. That's oiled that slider all up. Right. Let's see if we can get this carb. I think this little line here got a line back up. Look. Oops, a daisy. No, nope, we've got to push this down. There we go. Is that throttle working now? Oh. Perfect, look. Let me get this screw tightened up and make sure that that's all all right once that's tightened up. Because that is a bit loose at the minute. I think then we can be running a bit of fuel through it. That's tightened up. There you go. Excellent. Right, so that's going to be closed, that's going to be flat out, so that should be idle. Right, I have prepared in here, in my little bottle, we have got a bottle of 50 to 1. Let's have a look inside this tank, see if that's clean. Ooh, look at the cruddy oil in there see that guys on whether you can see that yeah there is a lot of old solidified oil in the bottom so i think what we can be doing is we'll toss our bottle of petrol in there i'm not putting this back on the carb yet because i don't want to flush any rubbish into the carb so and i don't know whether that tap is on or off 
There you go, that's our bottle of oil in there. Let's put our cap back on and swill that about a bit. And will this tap work? No, look. Right, so this tap is doing nothing. So let's take our bottom off. We'll probably have to take this tap off as well. We're not even getting anything out of there, look. Nothing, look. Right, I think we need to take this petrol tap out. Yep. So we're going to need to pull this pipe off this top one as well. Oh, it's come without breaking, look. Brilliant. And we'll see. I think I'm going to have to slacken this tank off, you know. And feed this petrol tank through here a bit to give us enough room. Come on. Come on. To get that tap undone. Cool. Right. Will this tap undo out of the bottom here? Will this tap undo? Oh, blow my neck. Hang on, guys. Ah, that's the size. Oh, that is tight. Oh, Jesus. Right. It looks like this tap actually got a little clip on the back so you can take the tap to pieces is that right that looked like that's a little that's, ah, that's a little spring clip there on this side look i'm expecting petrol to pee out of here now there you go that's, that's got this off all right yeah look at the crap in there so there's nothing coming out of our petrol tap. Nope. So I think everything is a little bit blocked and congealed inside that tap. I wonder if blowing it will do any good. Let's take the lid off the tank. Getting any sort of flow out of there at all. Nope. I think somehow we're going to have to get that tap out. Let me get a pick tool in there. Alright, let's see if we can pick this out. Oh, there's some. Ah, there's a hole in the top there. Totally plugged. I don't really want to be taking that rubber out if I can help it. I really don't want to be taking that rubber out so you know that's going to break. No, it's not even coming through this side. Oh, it's coming out the bottom, the air. But there's nothing coming out of this tap area. No. I think somehow we're going to have to get that tap off there, boys. There's certainly enough petrol in there. 100% there's enough petrol in there. I think we're going to empty that petrol out. And somehow try and get this tank off. I mean, somehow try and get that... Try and get that tap off. I just don't want to break nothing. So let's undo this bracket and see if we can get this tank right out of here. Then we can get that 
Right, that's undone. Then we can get that on the bench. Come on, tank. There we go, that's got the tank out. Right, let's get this tank back inside on the bench. That wouldn't hurt actually to rinse this tank out while we got it off. I'm going to pop that plug back in there in case any dust and crap falls down that plug hole. There we go. Right. Yeah. Let's take all this back in the shed. Get it on the bench and give this a good clean out. Right, there's our petrol tank. Let's put our little, oh no, I might need them actually. I'll we'll leave them out a second. All right, let's get a clean tub and empty this petrol into it and see what colour, see what colour this fuel comes out as. Oh my word, look at that. That was clean petrol. Oh my word. Well, I must admit, it seems to. Let's chuck some of that back and we'll shake it and do it again. Don't do it awkward. We don't want to put all that sediment back in there. Oh, there is some sediment in there, guys. Which would have gone straight back into that fuel tank, wouldn't it? Straight back into that carburetor, sorry. All right, leave that to settle a minute. But for now, I want to focus. Oh, that, you know, this tank is really light. That must weigh 250 grams. There's nothing to it. So light compared to old English engines. I know what you're thinking, this is going to be sketchy, but we need to get this tap out. Get our spanner on and let's see if we can get that. Oh, ah, it's come, it's come, right. Jesus, that was tight. I think we might have to put all this through the bath as well. Look at that, that filter. Right, let's get all this through. I don't know whether we're going to be able to clean this out, if I'm honest. That might be past it. Let's see if we can get this rubber out. Ah, oh, that rubber is starting to break up. No, leave it in there, Finn. You're going to do more harm than good. Let me stick that. We'll stick all of this back in the ultrasonic. See if it cleans. Back in a minute. All right, we are going to. So I have a feeling that ultrasonic is not going to clean that. So we've got boiling water in there. Let's see. If that's done anything, let me get the airline in here. Right, let's blow this out. See if that's done anything. All right, we're getting a little bit at the bottom here. nothing through this mesh uh, will that mesh I don't know whether that mesh come out I'm wondering whether I should put this in here to boil for a bit all right we've got flow through that little hole and then out of here and through the big hole 
and the big hole out of here. Maybe that's all I need to do because it's flowing out of there. Will that tap turn that off? But it looks to me like we've got. Oh, hang on. Now this this hole here is well and truly congealed. But do this hole do anything? This this bottom one here. Yeah. Where's the air come out of? I think. Yeah. So this one just comes out of here. Maybe them to a blank. I think maybe it's just this one. And it travels down. Yeah. Of course it does. So these two on the side here do nothing. And I assume that blows through here, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going through here. Yeah. So that's off. That'll just complete these two top and bottom holes. Or these two at the side do nothing. So this is the hole we've got to worry about. Because we can get very little through that. We might have to sacrifice this filter, you know, and try and get that out. I think we're going to have to. I don't think there's another way. I think we've got to get this filter out of here. Or break up. We've got to do something, because we've got to clean this hole out. Because this is certainly where our problem is. Totally plugged in there. Ah, uh -huh. I think now. Oh, yeah, we've got flow through there now. Right. Now we've blowed it through. Oh, yeah, we're getting flow through there. But I am going to still put this in that boiling water for a bit. There we go. Just to heat up whatever crud. Whatever's sort of, you know, whatever's given us grief in there, we want to try and dissolve it. In case there's old two-stroke oil or whatever in there. So we'll just chuck that through this boil of water. Too hot to handle. Cool him off in the ultrasonic a bit. The water in the ultrasonic is warm, but not boiling. Oh, it seems to have softened that rubber up there nicely as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's blowing now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's get that back again. Oh, crikey, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's done it. There you go. Can you see the crap come out of that? Yeah, that was where our problem was, guys. This is just plugged totally. There we are. Excellent. So, let's get this tap reassembled and remember that up or down is on and to the side is off look that's it right let's see if we can reassemble this tap how did it go that piece come off here didn't it and then this clip i think we've got to bend that back in a little like so and hopefully that will all clip back together. Let me have a look, see if I can get this clipped back together. Cool, that's going in there tight. Let me mess around with this tap. And see if I can get it back together. You don't want to see that on camera. Boring stuff. Right. Turns out. 
this piece I was trying to go on there actually goes over there. So, yeah, we're back in. The little clipper's back in. And it's working. Fast off. That's on. So, yes, we can get this. Let's squash that bit of mesh back over there. There you go. That's covered that hole, so that'll still act as a filter. There you go. So let's get this tap back in this tank and see how it goes. I think this tank's aluminium, you know, which is why it's so light. Because the whole tap's aluminium. Or as our friends in the States say, aluminum. Aluminum. I can't get the hang of saying aluminum. So we're going to carry on with aluminium. <laughs> Not aluminum. There we go. That's the tank tightened back up. Right. Let's get this back on the engine. Get some more two-stroke mix mixed up. See what's happening. See if we can get this engine to go. Alright. Let's get this tank back in. If we can get it under that rubber without taking that bracket right off. There we go. That's done. Alright, let's get in. There we go. Perfectly lined back up. Get the tank upright. The pipe to tap looks fine. Yeah, I can actually see the original marks where that tank was done up. So, well, goes bang on the original marks again. I'm just keeping that adjusted so the tank is upright, so the petal cap is upright. Now pull on that slightly off to one side. Here we go. Perfect. There you go. Let's nip that clamp right back up. Look. Excellent. Right. Now let's get some petrol in this thing. See if we can get a good flow out of there. Right, we have some more two-stroke mixed up. Let's put this in our tank and see if we've got any flow. Now, I think I've got the tap turned off at the minute, which is good. Oh, yes, there's a quarter of a tank of fuel in there. Our tap does not appear to be leaking. Which is brilliant. Let's put our pipe back on this end. And let's just see if we actually get any fuel flow come out of this bottom. Oh, it's coming out of the bowl. Look, I haven't put the bowl nut back on. But at least we're flushed it out, haven't we? Yeah, that is. That's a little dirt trap. Now let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, there we go. There we are. Oh, there we are. The air is out now. Look. Look at that. Perfect. Nice, clean. There's some air still coming out of this. There we go. That's all the air out. Perfect. So let's put this back on the carb. Come on, get back on there, you little swine. There you go. I just want to get the airline and just blow that off before we turn that petrol on. Then we can see if our carb leaks. There we go. So let's blow this carb off. Right. We're going to just see... 
if this car leaks, let's turn our petrol on. There you go, I can see petrol going down. That bowl should be filling up as we speak. I can't see any drips. Let's tickle the primer. We should get some sort of over, overflowing out of there. There you go, that's overflowing out of the primer. Excellent. So the carb is full. I reckon now we need to just tighten this plug up. I'm not going to use that socket because that gets trapped on that if you remember. So we'll just use a good old metric adjustable. Just nip that plug down. There you go, he's nipped. Put our HT lead back on. There we go. Put our petrol cap back on. Where's our throttle? That's full, that's off. Full throttle, closed. Right, let's do a little bit of throttle. So I don't want this starting and then running away from us. Oh, I think we need to get this on the floor, don't we? That we do. So let's get her on the floor. I'm going to do all this live so you can see that there's no cut in the video. So I don't want you guys accusing me of, oh, you already started that. So we're going to put him down here. Where's the exhaust? This side. Alright, I think we might have to get you record. You're going to want to see the exhaust side, aren't you? And let's just see if we can get this tiny little thing to run. Let me get you guys down a bit, look. Get you a bit closer to the action. Now remember how easy the BSA start? Let's see if we get lucky. Uh, do we want choke on? I reckon so. Let's just see if this one will run. Wow, look at that. Burr, second pull. Give her a little less choke. I got a cloth. What do I want a cloth for? Let's put that idle up a bit. Just to put over the exhaust and see how quiet she is. Oh, yes, yeah, you gotta come round here and start it. She's a run thing. <laughs> cloth lock look at that 
Look at that. There's a hole in my cloth, dear Liza. Right, we were spitting flames out of there, I reckon. <laughs> there you go. It runs. The little filch shoots or whatever the devil it's called is a runner. And guys, what do we do with this engine? Is it rally work? I mean, it's so light. I can't sort of explain to you just how light... This engine is, I mean, there's, it's literally, the thing must weigh, what, two and a half kilos? You know, as much as a big bottle of milk, there's just nothing to it. I think the whole thing is just aluminium, but I like how it screws on and off that base. But there, what do we do with this? Do we just snag all that plastic crap off there? Find a little V-pulley and just belt drive a little display with it. Try and find some form of exhaust to go on there. You can actually see that piston in there, look. <laughs> so rum exhaust, because you've got like two ports here and here. So that would have to be probably an exhaust what... Oh, she... No, she ain't too bad. We want probably an exhaust what will just flip over the outside. Was I meant to have a special exhaust? Because if you look, there's two, two like ears there. See that? And they run inside. You can see them ears better there, look. What's the benefit of them two little ports, half ports here and here? I oh, don't know. But this little fin, fin, what's it? Fitchel, Fitchel sash. There you go. Fitchel sash. That's what it is. And it's running. After many, many years of sitting under my shed. I didn't know that cap screwed up tight enough, did I? After many years of sitting under my shed doing nothing, it's come back around. I take at last starting instructions on there. I cannot read German, though. There we go. Attention. I don't know what that is. I don't know what all this is. There we go. Craft stop. There we are. Well, there you go. It runs, guys. Excellent stuff. Thank you very, very much for watching. We are going to be back with Bonza videos. I'm waiting for clutch cables, wheel nuts, and a couple of other bits to turn up. Then we can get the wheels back on the Bonza. Because at the minute I can't because I've got no wheel nuts. Then we can get it off the trailer. Up to the workshop. And then we can be stripping that chassis down. Getting the body off. Probably going to take the axle off. Um, replace that rotten foot plate where the pedals are. Rub it all down and spray it. See how we go from there. Right. But for now. We're on this. I am at Strumpshaw Rally this weekend. So don't forget, it's the Autumn Rally at Strumpshaw. What's that? The Oh, I don't know what day it is. I think that's the 28th. No, sorry. That's the 29th today. And it's to Monday. Yeah, no, no, it's Monday the 28th today. Beg your pardon. Monday the 28th. And the rally is next Saturday and Sunday. So, yes, that will be good. Or is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I don't know. Put it in your Googleator machine. You'll find it. If I remember, I'll drop a poster somewhere here. And we will be there. Right, that's it, guys. We will see you next time. And bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! Can't believe I burnt holes in my new cloth. The sash. Ah!